Ministry in a Minute is a devotional presentation of the Crossroads School of Ministry. Whatever platform you're on, like, share, subscribe, help us get the word out about the Crossroads School of Ministry. And if you are a ministry leader or church leader or someone called to vocational ministry and you need training, Crossroads School of Ministry can help. Check us out online at crossroadsom.org, the Crossroads School of Ministry. Hey everybody, Dr. Greco here. Welcome to Ministry in a Minute. Listen, our conversation this week is going to be about transformation. And really, you know, transformation is what we are after as ministry leaders and as pastors for everyone we minister to, but it begins with us. We have to be transformed. You know, Romans chapter 12, verse 2, be transformed by the renewing of your mind. If we aren't going through a process of transformation where we're growing in Christ and we know Him more deeply, we're going to have trouble passing that on to other people. And so we're going to deal with transformation. We're going to be in Psalm 51 all week. And this is a famous psalm. A lot of us know where this comes from. This is a psalm of repentance. After David sinned with Bathsheba, he he went to the prophet Nathan came to him and revealed his sin to, sin to him, and he pours out his heart to God and says, "God, you know, I want to be clean. I want to be I want to be fixed." And you know that's really the kind of where the the key is in this this Psalm 51 when we talk about transformation and it begins with repentance because this the the postscript the prescript of this psalm says it's about this incident with David and Bathsheba but the first verse says this have mercy on me o god according to your unfailing love according to your great compassion blot out my transgressions and there's two phrases there's a phrase that's used twice according to and, and, and so the first thing we see about transformation in us and in others is that it is, it is the prerogative of God. It is God's business. He's the one doing it. And, and we, when we search after transformation, we can work at it, but we really have to realize it's God that does it. You know, we talk, I talk a lot about the spiritual disciplines. Richard Foster wrote a great book called The Celebration of Discipline, and he lists all these spiritual disciplines, study and prayer and, and meditation and service, and there's just there's like 13, 12 or 13 different things that, that he lists that, that are designed to transform us. But what they really do is put us in a position where God can work on us. We don't do the work, God does. And so so David begins this psalm with that, according to and according to. And then something very important, according to what? It says God's unfailing love. And then it says His compassion. Folks, we have to realize when we want to be transformed and when we're going to let God transform us and, and understand that He's in the transforming business, that His character the foundation of his character is love and compassion. The word here is has said uh, when it says your, your uh, loving kindness in, in verse 1, and that is Old Testament grace. That is what is at the foundation of who God is. And so we can let him do the work of transformation. We can use Jesus as a goal for who we want to be because God's what makes up God begins with love. It begins with compassion. He wants to forgive. He wants to see us transformed into who He's made us to be. Okay, So that's going to be our, our conversation all week. Psalm 51. Uh, every, every morning we'll put one of these out and we'll go through the whole thing Wednesday night. We'll see you tomorrow uh, for another ministry in a minute.